Hey you right guys, Trophy React here and today we are watching and reacting to the 2004 film 13 going on 30 and this is one of the rare, I guess, examples for me where I literally know nothing about this film. Not even a synopsis, not a blurb, I know nothing. The only thing I do know about it I guess is that Jennifer Garner and Mark Ruffalo are both in it. And Judy Greer, which is kind of cool, and Andy Serkis apparently, which which I'll take Andy Serkis in anything, uh, but that's literally all I know about it. So, <laughs> going to be new, going to be fresh, but um, I'm excited to find out. This was voted for on the Patreon poll. I think it came in third place under the holiday and the proposal or something like that. Uh, so, we have a new poll that's gone up now, and they're voting now currently on the next three films that we're going to react to. But this is the final one from the previous poll that we did, so thank you to everyone who voted on that. If you do want to join in on those polls, you only have to be a $1 patron, and you can leave film suggestions, which we do every, I'd say about six weeks after we've typically reacted to the other three films, and then you get to join in on the poll where it has 25 uh, different films that you can vote for the top three, basically. But anyway, guys, 13 going on 30. More than anything, I'm just excited to see a film from 2004. Early 2000s films, as we always say, just hit different. I feel like they kind of are in that realm of, I'd say, like a 90s film, but literally not, but, uh, you know. So this film's 20 years old this year. <gasps> I don't know, I'm like, oh, like I have such nostalgia for that, but... <laughs> Move it, Dorcas. Dorcas, oh my god. Get dorked on. I think you're next. I'll take your ticket. Oh, school photos. I remember these nightmares. Everyone just stood there watching you get your photo taken. Let me see. I'll see if I can find mine and I'll try and pull it in the video. If I can find it. Look over here, Gina, right here. It's Jenna. Okay, what the... <laughs> I don't know if she pulled that exact face, but... Is that oh, no. the guy from Stranger Things? It's at the table. Finn Wolfhard. <laughs> Oh yeah, you always got the freak with the camera. Hey Jenna. Matt, please. No more pictures. Oh no, okay, we like that. Come on, it's your 13th birthday. We got a document. Oh, we got... It's just... This film's just Mean Girls, then. <laughs> Hi, Tom Tom. Tom Tom. Hey Jenna. So, how'd yours come out, Rink? Uh, not so good. Yeah, mine aren't so hot either. Nuh-uh, Tom Tom, yours are great. These are the best. <laughs> God, you're so photogenic. I'll meet you out front, okay? Do whatever you want. It's not like she needs a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> <laughs> That's a zinger. Jenna, can I talk to you a tiny sec? She, her face, that other one, kind of looks like Hannah from Pringle Lies. It's too bad we can't make it. Because we really wanted to. Didn't we, girls? We totally did. So I, That has to be Hannah from... Uh, Ashley Benson, is that her name? Tell me that one there, behind the main one, is not Ashley Benson. I could write your report for you. Fabuloso! I can't believe you invited those clones. Clones is not wrong. Six chicks are not your friends, okay? She's well, gonna almost, get bullied, what? And someday I'm gonna be a six chick. There's six of them, Jenna. That's the whole point. There can't be a seventh six chick. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. There we go. Want some razzles? Razzles are for kids. Oh, exactly. Yeah, right. Yo, they got the like good oh, houses of the neighbors. So their parents, both their parents, are loaded. She's with those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh my god, their camera. Like Nineteen eighty-seven cameras. Look at me. This is not okay. This is fatal. <laughs> it's not fatal, honey. It's realistic. Yeah, I thought I she had like. Life diseased legs for a second, but I think she just has like tights on or something. I don't want to be beautiful in my own way. That's ruthless when you're good looking in your own way, your own unique little weird way. Be flirty and thriving. Why the 30s are the best years of your life. A pretty joke. I want to be 30. <laughs> well, you will be, honey. But right now you're my beautiful 13 year old. Yeah, when you were that age, you're like, I want to be, I want to be a grown up. I want to be 30. Let's go. I'm ready, and now I'm almost, well, a couple years still away from 30, but... I don't, don't know. You know how you always wanted a, a Barbie dream house? Mm-hmm. Well... Oh, I think her parents could afford it. Thank you, your own Jenna dream house. Well, that's kind of, that's wholesome. Yeah, that's you and you your made all it. Jeez. Magazine. And, 
above and, and beyond, bro. Room with a massive stereo and every record ever made. Swishing dust knows what's in your heart of hearts. It'll make all your dreams come true. Well, fair play. Oh, all well, our dreams come true. This is going to dream for all these bullies that are about to bully her to perish. Or is she going to dream of being 30? Um, they're here. And the wishing dust works, but then she wakes up and it was actually all a dream. Matt, I'm just going to put this away, okay? So there's room to dance. Oh. It's gonna, that's going to get it's destroyed, isn't it? It's going to get destroyed. Dad, you promised you were going to stay upstairs. Go! <laughs> Oh my god. Hi guys, the party's downstairs. Fabuloso. Yeah, fun, fun birthday. Who's this nerd? Oh, is it the dream boy? Who is it? <laughs> Excellent, yes. Now that's some hair. I've probably had that hair at some point. With the jock jackets on. <laughs> he does not care. I respect it. Well, he's partying. You lot just stood there. Oh, they don't like the music. Sorry, beef had majority rules. <laughs> Narrow, man. Narrow, hopeless people. Freak. Robot. <laughs> I'm gonna go next door and get my Casio. Do whatever you want, Matt. It's not like I need a play-by-play. -play. Oh, don't do this. Don't become what you hate. Let's play seven minutes in heaven. Well, they're going to lock her in go there and then the house is going to get destroyed. How does that one go again? The, the toy house, not their actual house. Some lucky guy's going to go in there and do whatever he wants with you for seven whole minutes. <laughs> and guess who wants to go first? Oh, they really actually didn't even waste any time just bullying her. Yeah, a classic. Chris loves going for second base. <laughs> oh right, they're not. They've not locked her in. I thought they'd like put a proper chair up against it and then throw a candle in there to start a fire. Let's go. I think I get my brother to buy us some beer. Ditch. Oh, they're stealing all their food, little scumbags. I thought you weren't gonna come. She thinks it's the other guy. Where are you? I think maybe just just break this teller. No, bro, don't do this. Oh, Chris. <laughs> All right, she. Oh, he thought that she was talk, thinking it was him. Okay, first. Where's Chris? He's gone. Everybody left. Oh, that sucks. What did you do? No, please, just come out. I hate you. I hate me. I hate everybody. Jenna, what are you talking about? I want to be 30. Oh, here we go. She's going to zap into a 30-year-old. The wishing dust. Thriving. Oh. <laughs> Hell thriving yeah. And flirty and thriving. Flirty this is just Princess Diary. It's thriving, really not. Thirty and flirty and thriving. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if wishing dust work like that. I'll have to buy some. I wonder if she's... 30 in was it 1987 or has she skipped all that time and now she's 30 so her 30 year old self still would have lived an entire life but then if it's the mind of her 13 year old self would the mind of her entire journey of getting to 30 just died then and then that person doesn't exist anymore does that make sense It made sense to me. Some of you will get exactly what I'm saying when I say that. So I'm going with it's the mind. Mom? Yeah, it's the mind of the 13 year old in the 30 year old. But she's lived an entire life, so it's. <laughs> Mom? Basically, she's just killed someone, is what I'm trying to say. She's basically just took over someone's mind and killed them. <laughs> a fair reaction. And you're married to Dean from Gilmore Girls. What is happening? What is happening? I don't think I've seen her in 
small. Nothing about seeing, right? <coughs> oh, I thought he was in the phone. Oh, you have bills and everything now. I, it's gonna be a dream, isn't it? The end of the film. <laughs> or she'll get some wishing dust and be like, go back to being 13. And my parents are totally gonna be home any minute! Ah! <laughs> hey, sweet Bob. Where's the condition? Dean. You're naked! Well, not yet. That was a quick reaction with the umbrella, to be fair. You can join me if you want. Sweet Bob! Yeah, get gone. Let's get gone. Sure, she's in New York as well. It's even better. Can you hear that, sir? Can you hear the music? Can you hurry up a little bit, please? Open you made a commitment. Can you get in the car? I can't get in the car. I don't get in the car with strangers. Please get in the car. We're gonna be late. Oh, I can't get in the car. I don't know you. Just get in the car. Don't the make right me grab you. Lucy Lyman, he has my number. Bro, that's a thirteen-year-old. Put your chest away. I couldn't imagine trying to. Like, how old was? Uh, Julie Garner here. No, Jennifer, Julie. Who's Julie Garner? Is that someone else? You're pregnant. Oh, no! Oh, my God, no! Thank God you scared me. What Jordan did you do last oh, 31, night? Oh, yeah. See, that's the thing. Something really strange is happening. I... Trying to play a 13-year-old. I'm 13! Jennifer, you're going to start <laughs> lying about your age. I feel at 27. Mm. Wait, just... no, I know it sounds strange, but, like, some really weird dream is a... like that. Do you hear it? Did you hear that? Would you stop being ridiculous? It's probably just Richard. This is what you wish for, apparently. Brown, curly hair, British. Richard. Well, Hello? British, here we go. You, you. Oh. Put on your pants and stick oh, sweet bottom. Oh, sweet little boss. Get out of my house. Hey, look, Who is that? that? Oh, no, it's maybe not then. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I got that wrong. We have a meeting in 10 minutes, okay? I'm going to tell you what to do. Repeat oh, well, I'll tell you right now this I is going to go Rick, well. I am magazine editor. I'm a tough bitch. Say it. I am a tough bitch. Ooh, a bad word. Pick one. That one. Love, knew it, genius. Uh, Eminem's <laughs> on the phone. He wants a decision. Eminem's on the phone. There's the dynamic yep. duo. I trust my executive. There he is. Our legs again because they were out promoting us at all the right parties. Gollum himself. I need to find this guy. Okay, he lives in not, not a problem. Have his number. Oh, yeah. Oh, Come on. Can you leave us, please? Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna's a little hungover today. A little. Rough. <clears throat> oh, rough. Okay, children. Go on, show them. Wow. He did it so aggressively, but then it's done so neatly. Which one Holly Housewife is going to go for? The 10th or the 11th secret? Mm, good point, good point. You make an excellent point, one would say. Seven months in a row now, they scoop us. Courtney Cox. I mean, it's like they've got Marissa Tomei. Richard, so we're... Our party tonight is now huge. Oh, hell yeah. We need to make an unequivocal statement then. It's kind of like a body swap film, but kind kind of not, because it's her own body, but just in the future. <laughs> oh, she can get a read on her life. Who we got here? It's a naked guy. Oh, it is. Yeah, Dean. That ain't Dean. Who's that? Margarita's anytime. Love you, Madonna. Oh, I just chill with Madonna, yeah. yeah. My mom called. I wish you told me. Oh, I'm... Sorry, Miss Frank. I thought you said never to bother you with family calls. Oh. Please don't fire me. No, no, I won't. It's not your fault. I just, I forgot that I said that. Next time my mom calls, will you please let me know? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> She's panicked. That information that you asked for. Oh, the map. Matt. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffers. Oh, no, she, she's going to be straight up like, yeah, the, the wishing does turn me into a 30-year-old. And she'll probably get sectioned by the end of the episode. Of the, of the film. This is lovely. I'm spoken. Um, Fifteen hey, this years. Is Jenna, and I'm looking for Matt. You know what? I got none of that. That's Mark uh, Ruffalo's voice. Here I think. Ming Gardens ring twice. If not, I really don't want it. Who 
Here we are. There he is. You're not Chinese. <laughs> there is that. You're tall. You're different. Yeah. I love Mara Ruffalo. He's like such an like actually a nice celebrity. Yesterday, because I'm not their team. Jenna. Yes. Jenna Ring. Yes, Matt, it's me. <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. Wonder what went. Oh wait, he's unlocking the door, maybe. Okay. Hey. You still take pictures? Uh, yeah. I hopefully, you know, Velvet. Uh, pays the bills. Yesterday was my thirteenth birthday, and then, and then today I woke up and I'm this, and you. I mean, you're that. You get it? Yeah, I. That could be that. That could be that. You need to help me remember my life. Me? Yes. I can't do that. Why not? Right, here we go. <laughs> I don't know anything about you. Ooh. All right, I haven't seen you since high school. Oh, it's been that long. It's cool. It's warm in here. It's, 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 it's... <sighs> Maybe I should open a window. Sponsored by FedEx. You want a uh, glass of water? Do you want ice in that? I want a fucking pillow! A fucking pillow <laughs> coming right up. Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, I just lost it. Is this you? Yeah. If someone told you this, this would now. you believe them? Because if he somehow wraps his mind around and starts to believe her, that's a lot of faith. <laughs> uh, he's intrigued. Our high school yearbook. All oh, right, yeah. Matt, the was that a chick? The oh, yeah, print of lies. There's Tom Tom. I wonder what happened to her. Uh, last I heard, you guys are still pretty good friends. I think you actually even worked together. Lucy. Oh. oh my God, yes. Is that her? She's Lucy Wyman now. I was a prom queen. Yep. <laughs> wow, it all turned over so quick. Yes, my limousine for 8.30. I will be prepared to take my ride at that time. Oh, can you tell me where I'm going? The Palace, 27 Wall Street. Thank you. The Palace, obviously. You don't want to go to the party? Nah, I gotta work, thanks. Shoot, well, take him phone. You could do that on the, the party. It's kind of cool we both have jobs. What if what I wish for actually happened? Well, then you got everything you ever wanted. You might as well enjoy it. Right, Jenna. He probably does just think that she's high. <laughs> Arrivederci. I'll see you. Matt! Yeah. <laughs> Au revoir. Or was that that little secret, secret <laughs> handshake kind of thing? Well, we like Matt. Matt seems nice. <laughs> the music in these ones so good. How do you do marshmallows? They look so difficult. Why have you got marshmallows in her hair? <laughs> got the walking closet. Oh, we got one, we got one, we got one. Show me. Uh, yes, the shoes. Brilliant. So we should wear in the 80s. <laughs> I'm Jenna, by the way. Is that Sadie yeah, Singh? I'm Becky. Why are you talking to me? Why not? We are neighbors, right? You killed my parents three years ago. And murdered my dog. I like your shoes. Thanks. I like your dress. It's because they've got these incredible boobs to fill it out. <laughs> well, fair enough. Violence dress so dead. <laughs> the DJ doing nothing. Was you had a nose job? Yeah, and yours is better. Anything to do, ladies? <laughs> uh, the reveal. An apple martini. Oh, she's gonna try alcohol for the first time. There you two are. <laughs> His voice is so good. Sort of a dangerous mermaid look. And you. A dangerous oh, mermaid. mermaid. <laughs> I know. I mean, thank you. Be everybody Wang Chung tonight, right? <laughs> weirdo. Bloody weirdo. Some milk. God, she's gonna die. <laughs> she's got good accuracy, to be fair. So cool. It's 11 o'clock and people are leaving. This is a disaster. It does look very dead. Like, extremely dead. What's she doing here? Who's 
Sparkles editor in chief Trish Sack at 12 o'clock and headed our way. That was Bellatrix Lestrange if she had red hair, I guess. Put some crab in your purse for later. Yeah, you, know, you might want to keep some of that fighting wit for your magazine. Oh, the, the opposition. Oh, I smell. Oh. Do I have bad breath? He kind of looks like Gollum. Am I malodorous in any way? No. Because people seem to be running for the exit like someone set off a giant stink bomb. I don't smell anything. I think that he means the party is a stinker. A dud, a flop. Okay, okay. We could have just gone down that road instead, but... Maybe if somebody played something other than this, something with a melody. Honey, play whatever you want to. All I know is for those people... The music is dead. Really, really soon. She's gonna, like, put on some, like, I don't know, Madonna. Start dancing, everyone's gonna join in. Watch. I mean, it's not like, it's like, I've cracked the Da Vinci Code, but... I don't take requests. You do if you play this garbage, surely. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It's basically Madonna. It's Guy Madonna. But everyone just stopped talking and <laughs> looked. I've never heard this before. What's this song? Go and get the dance down. She had a practice in the, like, second scene. <laughs> wow, so I just whipped the spotlight out. <laughs> Who's even controlling that? Oh, he showed up, of course. Of course now he shows up. <laughs> Uh, another spotlight. They knew exactly who she's talking to. Uh, just, uh, just go along with it, it's fine. You don't need to know the moves. <laughs> Dance scenes in any film always slap, to be honest. I don't know why. Ah, uh, well, there we go. There we go. Surely she gets a promotion for this. <laughs> oh, he's out. I don't know the move, so she lies. Go on, Andy Circus, get up there. Do your Gollum impression. <laughs> DJ's down. <laughs> oh, Andy Circus, go. Everyone, probably. There we go. What? I was really nice. Yeah. But... Sorry, I, I gotta go. I'm sorry. Oh. Did she want to have done that if she was the real 30 year old version of her? Who, I will remind you, is actually dead at this point. Or she's trapped in her own brain trying to get out like Black Mirror. Oh, <laughs> Wow, he swooped in for that kiss, my god. And speaking of hot, Mr. Hottie behind you is totally Let's scandalous. have a look, Mr. Hottie. Her words, not mine. Let's have a look. It's... Oh... Some guy with fuzzy hair. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> oh, three I actually came over here because <laughs> I think you're really cute. So, do you want to go out sometime? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna Can take off oh. now. Time to go. <laughs> you want to go to jail? I'm a bad guy. The man? Oh, gross. I can find a taxi in this neighborhood. Oh my god, it's a naked man. I just just saw him about? in New York. He thinks I'm beautiful? Hey, why is that lady asking for my boyfriend's autograph? Oh, he's he a may not be the best New York actor. Ranger, but he's the New York Ranger with the best ass. <laughs> Jenna? Oh my god, Matt! Hi! I just bumped into Matt as well. Hey, Tom Tom, how are you? You lost all your baby fat. How's the beef stay warm in the winter? <laughs> yeah, it's good to see you again, too. You know, I almost didn't recognize you. Did you get a nose job? <laughs> I can't believe you're here. What are you doing uh, here? Got him. I'm, uh, I'm actually <laughs> I'm doing some uh, shopping with my, uh, Jenna, this is Wendy, my fiance. Uh, oh, well. Oh, are you a photographer too? So you guys have spent so much time talking about me. Yeah. Wendy. Yeah, so much time. Oh my God, it didn't stop. Maybe Ian in Chicago. Actually, Matt and I were just talking about him finally joining me in the Windy City. Mm. You're moving to Chicago. 
Yeah. We were just discussing. Uh, we haven't really. Well, he's so he's so regretting proposing to that woman. Well, just this is my fiance, I guess. But it's not that big of a deal. It's just some woman, I guess. I guess she's my fiance, but whatever. Wendy, fiance. Right. Nice to meet you. I'm Dean. So weird. And this is Dean. You're Alex Carlson. Nice, nice to meet you. You're a great hockey player. I'm a big Thank fan. Thank you. Of yours. Thank you. You want me to sign your shirt or your forehead or something? <laughs> no, I don't do butts. <laughs> I'm just joshing you guys. Sorry, <laughs> I, I crack a lot of jokes after we win on account of because I'm in such a good mood. Wow. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to see to you, meet folks. You. Bye -bye. Right. Nice to see you, folks. Bye. Bye. Ruin two and two and. Lucy. Should I go to his wow. place alone? Yeah. Why not? Go play. You deserve it. Play. I mean, like games and stuff. No, no. Yeah. Oh, was it Fifty Shades of Grey? It was my games room. What were you playing like Xbox? Again, I have to remind everyone, Fifty Shades of Grey genuinely might have the greatest dialogue ever. Just, just ever. I couldn't wait to see you tonight. Bro. You wanna play a game? Bro. Maybe you should probably tell him that you are, you are a 13 year old. I'm sure the film's gonna try and do its loopholes, but... <laughs> I was trying to bite her ear off. What? I owe you one raunchy striptease. Oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> the music in the film's great. Who's got the moves? On the ice and off the ice. Ice, baby. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, oh my god. <laughs> I like to imagine that he just did that for three hours. Rule number one love is a battlefield. Wow, that's deep. Mm, that's deep. That was pretty cool, yeah. Good luck with fractions. Have fun at work. <laughs> Good luck with fractions. 57 ways to have an orgasm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that'll do really well, yeah. Underwear. Uh, there's no easy way of saying this, so I'm just gonna come out with it. Your golem, we know. Redesign and bring up our numbers, or they pull the plug. Richard, redesign is a death sentence. No, it's not. It's a chance to have some fun. Let's sparkle have all our She's gonna bring it back around. Cody ideas. We'll open up the FOB, overhaul the BOB. <laughs> it's time for us to pull together and prove we have some poise left. Well, I shall be leaving it to my dynamic duo to come up with something utterly fabulous. She's gonna smash it. Called and wanted me to tell you, I can't believe you scooped my story on Vivian Tam, you backbiting little bitch. Mm. That was a new level of sleaze even for you. I hope <laughs> you die in one of her casual pantsuits. <laughs> she full of read that far enough. Uh, Maybe I should uh, be them myself. Good. Okay. Oh, great. That was going to be a parent who so haven't even been in the film. Well, the, the, not since she's been 30. Please, oh, never mind. Sir, don't take that to home Could with still me. Could still be just her parents. The parents. Yes. The readers are the desk. Alex is on lane one, Miss Ring. Oh, gag me. Can you please tell him I'm busy? Miss Ring, but Pete Hansen is here to see you. Who? Tracy from the art department's husband. Tracy from the art department's husband. Okay, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> she just got like brass magazines. What even? I was just dropping off Tracy's lunch. Thought I'd say hello. What? You brought Tracy her lunch. That's so sweet. Bloody hell! <gasps> what are you doing? What's wrong, Pookie? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> oh, God, that's going to give me nightmares. That line delivery, the face that went along with it. Oh. Come on, lie down and take a memo. Oh, oh. I think he's just a criminal. I'm going to hire the best photographer, and I don't want Jenna to find out. No, roger that. Okay, <laughs> God, what's up with her lately, anyway? Uh. I mean, she seems so 
lost. Mm, I yes, no yes. I'm getting so Let's sneak with just the door open. You know, she stole Charlotte's idea, right? And then she fired her. I say we go ahead with our own presentation and let her fall on her ass. Mm, nothing's changed. Ah, that's a mat. Okay, you're not Cajun. Wanna go for a walk? Sure. <laughs> so he just cut to him cycling, I was like, yeah, good joke. I still can't believe you're getting married. Uh um We can forget that. We don't need to do that. We'll be able to go back to when she's thirteen though, so it's fine. What what happened to us? I mean, how come we never stayed friends? I don't know, I forget. No, what happened? Go on, be honest. I don't know, I can pretty much peg it to your 13th birthday party. Um, you were in the closet playing that game, what does it spin the... Oh, they didn't actually speak after that at all? Well, you came out of the closet and um, I started to sing my birthday song to you and then you picked up and threw at me with impressive force, I might add, the oh. dream house that I spent. There it is. I've been waiting for them to fight and say that it got destroyed. <laughs> You just stopped being my friend and never spoke to me again after that ever. Wow, nice response then. I don't have any real friends. I, I did something bad with a married guy. Mm, that, yeah. I don't talk to my mom and dad. I, I'm not a nice person. And the thing is, I'm not 13 anymore. Unless this is all just a dream, then you could still be 13. I wonder if she, like, when she tries to wish back to being 13, will she have to get the exact same wishing dust? Cause good luck finding that. Where's the fire? What's the hurry about? You better oh, the cool it up before you burn it out. You I mean, why would you move? <laughs> you A treadmill that never gets used. Yeah, that was not told. right. Slow down, you're doing oh, is this that the closet? Oh my god, everything looks so dead. You wanna be before your time. You got your passion. She wishes to go back. You know <laughs> It'd be kind of grim if it just doesn't work now. What in the darn? <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. And you know that when the truth is told, that you can get what you want. That's you horrendous bed sheets and bed up. What the hell? Vienna waits for you. Hell yeah. A top up of the milk as well. Wow. If you were given one do over, anything in your life. What would it be? To leave your dad. He's a beast. <laughs> nothing. No, nothing. Yeah. Really? Not even the walls? Change the walls, maybe? But did you ever make a big mistake? A huge one that could change your life? What about that? Well, Jenna, I know I made a lot of mistakes, but like I don't the wallpaper? any of them. Okay, well. How come? Because if I hadn't have made them, I wouldn't have learned how to make things right. Spin balls. I'm sorry I missed last Christmas. And the ten other Christmases before that, probably, let's be real. Oh, she's going to use Matt to save the business. Do what Sally does in Barry, where she pins that woman up against in the elevator. <laughs> what a scene. I actually wanted to talk to you about this whole redesign thing. I hope you don't mind, but I've sort of been working on something on my own. It's really last minute. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. Because I'm doing the same thing. Mmm, get right. Competition, let's go. Hey, Jenna. Hey. Someone's got a big photo shoot going on. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Did you bring them? Oh, yeah, I got a few. What are you doing? I'm hiring you. Actually, Well, he's moving away to Chicago week. now. Off of the weekend. <laughs> Here. I hope you'll do this with me. Uh, uh, Fair play. You know, Jenna, I, I've seen your magazine. My stuff is not your style at all. It was, though, back in the day. 
Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I was going to redesign. I think it's the point. Jenna, this is your class of 2004. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, fair enough. That was easy. I could do that job, taking the photos. Boom, done. <laughs> Seems like she came up with the idea. Right, bro, you have a fiance. Wow, that transition was amazing. <laughs> that kid just looks straight into the camera. <laughs> uh, the Pomeranian. Yeah, it's, it's getting late. I should get home. Ah, uh, because he's falling in love. Mm. You know what I wish I had right now? No, what? Razzles. Razzles? Wow, I haven't had razzles in, in 15 years. Remember, they're both a candy and a gum. That's incredible. I can't believe they had Oh, they are. <laughs> I just went to the okay. shop and they had them. What? <laughs> what color is my tongue? Just what color is red. It? I don't know, red. Red, red, or, or tongue red? Red, red. Razzle red. Oh, yeah, all that. Show me your tongue. Come on, Matt, I showed you mine. I didn't ask you to see yours. Matt, I need to see tongue. Razzle red. The sweetest guy I've ever known. That, make, kind of, that makes sense. Usually with these films, like the, the main guy does something that you're like, oh my god, right, well, he's a prick. <laughs> Matt hasn't done that yet. One. <laughs> Two, three. Oh. That was always scary when you'd like up and jump back in the day. You have a fiance, bro. Hey. Yeah. You got arm hair. <laughs> Never quite got that reaction before. <laughs> Not that used to. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> Don't have a fiance anymore, let's be honest. Matt, what are you doing? Go on, where's fiance? In the woods somewhere. I think he instantly regretted that. <laughs> and I just floated home on a cloud. That is so <laughs> romantic. Do you love him? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to see him again? I don't, I don't know, actually. I don't know if I can. What? what? It's complicated. It's a grown-up thing. All of these look like kids, but the one on the right genuinely looks about 30. <laughs> heartache to heartache we stand. Love. Maybe not 30. That's like a bit harsh, but... Wow. 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 God, she knows a routine to every song ever. No I respect it. No, I think that I'm going to start reading Well, that's going to be the cover of the magazine. The first time in my life. <laughs> What does all this mean? No, I got a place I rent in Brooklyn. Oh, I don't dinner with right, Jenna. Bye bye. Oh. Hey, I wasn't expecting to see you ever. <laughs> Windy. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were flying in the mall. <laughs> uh, no, I wasn't expecting anyone. Yeah, yeah. Wow, what a <laughs> scratch of that doings. Okay, where do you? What do you? Uh, how was your? It was good. You can take pictures of vitamin bottles oh, anywhere. Oh, and I was just thinking day. that we should really just try to resolve this now. Instead of being a commuter couple during our first year of marriage. Well, you see them food. You, you still have food on your plate. Do I my balls, excuse my French, are in an iron vice. Mm. Corporate are twisting and squeezing like a bunch of dominatrixes on steroids, and now Lucy has presented wow. her own redesign without you. Will you tell me what's going on, please? <laughs> dominatrix on steroids. I'm really freaking out here. Jenna? The rest of the prints are ready. Oh, goody. Hang in there, Richard. Why does nobody listen to a word I say anymore? Uh, Arlene, aren't you Dude, coming? Dear golden pressure, maybe they will. Oh, you're invited, are you? Oh, okay, bye-bye. Oh, 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 no, excuse me. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. The new and improved poise will explore the last... Wow. Energy. It will go heroin. Oh, this is what she's done better. best. It will OD. It will kill. Cause of death? Sheepness. Oh, no, no. The new nope. Bye. It will be deadly serious. It will be the death of me. Fashion suicide. Suicide is correct, yeah. 
business suicide. So what do you think? <laughs> That's the reaction. I like the sound effect for the computer showing down as well. Thank you, sir. How much time do we have? We have two minutes. Okay. Hurry. That was a bomb, I'm afraid. Oh, well, well. Jeez Louise, man. More FedEx boxes, excellent. <laughs> and I know you might hate it and think I'm completely crazy. Or just put Bjork on your front cover, you'd be fine. Care. I don't about that. Even if I get fired, and I don't mean that disrespectfully, it's just that I've realized something. Who are these women? Does anyone know? I, mm. I don't recognize any of them. Fair. <laughs> Real women who are smart and pretty and happy to be who they are. These are the women to look up to. Oh, instead of models. Let's put life back into the magazine. And, and fun and laughter and silliness. Silly, goofy times. Because maybe we didn't realize how much we were leaving behind. Ooh. I think she speaks from experience. Oh, you're crying. Okay, fine. We laughter is the best medicine. It's giving her uh, live, laugh, love. <sighs> but you know what? Live, laugh, love is everywhere. So live, laugh, love sells. <laughs> That's going to be my review on Letterbox, by the way. Her pitch was giving live, laugh, love. Bravo. Oh, bravo! <laughs> Tickety boo! We will present this to corporate first thing. I <laughs> just cut to them being like, no. <laughs> corporate are going to hate it. Matt Slimhead. Is the author or Martha? Oh, Matt. Matt. No, no, is he gay? Oh, okay. Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> what a weird little side plot. Cool. <laughs> Guys, go like my lab box review for 13 going on 30. Because I'm going to put it up and I'll get. I, if it gets one like, I'll live, laugh, love all the way to my grave. Oh, she's gonna steal her. Oh, what are we gonna do? She's gonna sabotage it. What have we got here? She's gonna set her. Well, wait, I was gonna say for set the room on fire, but maybe not. Manhattan, Sparkle Magazine on Park Avenue. Sparkle Magazine. Trish Sackett, please. Oh, here we go. Jen, I'm sorry to barge in on you like this, but I really have to talk to you. Hey, Beaver. I mean, Matt, I'm sorry. Old habits die hard. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess I should just tell you that that Jenna's decided to go in a different direction with a more established photographer. Right, like you would believe anything she says. It's all the official photos of her sweetie pie, so... Don't take it personally, because there's just little There's lies. no way you believe anything she I'm says. I'm sorry to be so honest with you, because I think your pictures are really cute. It's nice talking to you. Yeah. Hey, Matt. While I've got you here, do you want to sign a general release and maybe we can use your pictures in a catalog or something? Fine. Oh, I see. Don't do anything she says. J Lo. So didn't Ben Affleck, ben Affleck date her and then J Lo as well? So that's kind of really spooky. I could be wrong about that. I might have completely just made that up. I, I think he's married to her actually. But again, I could have just completely made all of that up. I was just looking for Matt. I wanted to tell him some really, really great news about his photographs, and everybody loved him. Oh, that's great. Well, tell him when he gets back. He's just not getting his tux. His tux. For I know. men. Everything is the last minute. Well, <laughs> I mean, hello, we're getting married tomorrow. Yeah, wrong. But he was an Algana Tux. He was going to to Jenna. The meeting's cancelled, Jenna. Why? Wait until tomorrow. It's over. Why? It's over. Lucy. She took all your designs to Sparkle. Everything. Oh, that's what was going on again. She's their new editor in chief. 
Your photos showed up in Sparkle online last... Last bloody hell, that was quick. She can't take Matt's pictures, those belong to us. She can't do it. Oh, because Matt signed. She got him to sign uh... this. As they say in the old days, oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Which one do Throw you out a window. Play, the pot or the kettle? If you don't mind, I'd like to be the pot. What? What's or maybe the kettle. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. They're both black. What are you talking Literally, about? Literally, what are you talking about? Like, yesterday. genuinely. Hey, you can wipe off the doe-eyed Bambi watching her mother get shot and strapped to the back of a van look from your face. I talked to Trish Sackett yesterday. <laughs> She's going on some speeches okay, again. I know all about your little deal. Oh, she it's was a, a traitor. Deal, actually. Editor in chief, if you help him hit a million copies, so you give him tips. Mm, all the ideas were from her. Why did he sign this? What did you say to him? Let's see. I think that I told him you had decided to go in a different direction, which you are now. That direction is straight to hell. I might have told him something else too. What? But I just can't remember. What did you do? What have you done? You monster. No, she got him good there, to be fair. She's done them over. <laughs> that would suck. I mean, I'd love if that idea bombs Sparkle and throws Sparkle under the bin. That'd be good. That'd be a little plot twist. Oh yeah, I don't think break that one, bro. <laughs> Finally a customer! Is he a murderer? The hell? Jenna. Oh, is this the guy Jenna Ring. she went yeah? to crumb with? Chris Cranby. Wow. Uh, so, so what are you doing? Are you, are you married? Because if you're single, <laughs> I definitely want a number. Ah, Chris. I thought you wanted my number! Oh, wow. Chris, you silly old Billy. Why are you going to go bomb a wedding? I'll take these. <laughs> oh, the bold guy, what a hero. Nice, those moves. Throw a grenade in that room and close the door. I don't know what Lucy said to you about me, but I want you to know that whoever that was she was talking about wasn't me. Uh, it doesn't matter what, what Lucy said. I stopped say. trusting her after she stole my pop rocks. But you signed grade. something she gave you, so you trusted Matt, her enough of that. I wouldn't be getting ready to marry someone right Ooh. now unless that someone were me. <laughs> Too little, too late, I think. Do the wishing dust. What if she doesn't actually go back? I think that would be the plot twist, is if she doesn't go back to being 13. I have felt things these past few weeks that I didn't know I could feel anymore. Oh, watch his fiance be listening. <laughs> you can't just turn back time. Oh my god. Why not? I moved on. You moved on. We've gone down different paths for so long. We made choices. Are they not going to actually work out? I chose Wendy. That's her family down there. Uh... Please don't cry, Jenny. No, I'll be fine, I promise. Damn. 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 Oh, he has the house. Don't do it to him, bro. Don't do it, bro. Well, you put it back together, or? Maddie, can I have it? Please. You're not gonna whip it at me? No. <laughs> Turn back time, bro. Look, I won't have you be late. Just go. Go on, I'm fine. Look, I'm, I'm just crying because I'm happy. I, I want That's you to be is. so, so is. happy. I've always loved you. Get the wishing dust out, just do it! Before the film ends. Wow, in this life they don't actually work out. I mean, that's probably the realistic... Well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm definitely talking about realism in this film. I think dash the house at Wendy now, to be honest. Not even that house there, just the whole house. Go on, do it. There's, is there some dust left in there? Gobble it up. Grabbing the house and shaking it onto my head. 
I love there's loads, there's loads of dust on there. Imagine the film ends here. Fades to black. Oh. There we go, okay, the wind's helping her out. Does this timeline now just cease to exist? So everyone in that world timeline dies? Or does the version, her 30 year old version, retake back her mind and then just continues her life like nothing happened? You tell me, you tell me. Ah, uh, you didn't even go. Okay. <laughs> I was flabbergasted. You know what? You can be the pot and kettle all by yourself from now on. Fiosh. Come on, Matt. Ah, uh, fair enough. What did you call Get me? Correct. Ah, there we go, everyone. Now. <laughs> there you go, guys. No, don't forget to go to when she's 55. How are I think I've seen that scene, actually. <laughs> You know, you realise you've indirectly spoiled a film for you without even knowing it, because I have seen those two kissing in, like, somewhere in, like, a montage of films maybe ten years ago. And they've got the Barbie house and everything. Oh, what happened to Andy Serkis? And that's, <laughs> that's the important question. Very good. Very cute film. There we go, guys. 13... Unless there's enough to... No. There might have been some... Uh, let's have a look. Let's scroll through. I want to see what happened to Andy Circus, And you're not going to tell me. Okay. What happened to Wendy? <laughs> I have big questions, though. And important questions. I feel like... I need to know if the the timeline... Has Faust was Ben Affleck, by the way. From 2005 to 2018. So... Ben Affleck stated... Her... J-Lo... And... Wasn't he with Anna D. Armas as well? Fair play, Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck, oh, fair play. Um, but yeah, I, I want to I wanna know what happens with the timeline. I want to know if it ceases to exist. I've got big, important questions, which I've asked throughout the film, so that's good. But really enjoyable film. I like the magical dust. <laughs> as soon as that came in, I didn't know it was going to be like a kind of like a body swap film, I guess. But like I said, I know nothing of this film going into it other than who was in it, so... And I guess that final scene there of them kissing at the way I've seen that scene before actually. I don't know where, but it was probably in like a watch mojo top ten or something that I watched ten years ago or something. Uh but yeah, Mark Ruffalo, I like Mark was um actually not Matt. <laughs> Matt was actually a good guy in the film. I was waiting for kind of the pin to drop where he kinda of turns out to be a prick, but he just that didn't happen because films were like this typically the guy ends up being an absolute knob. Uh, or something like that. Or they do, they end up together, but then they've done something earlier on where you're like, I don't know about that. I kind of don't want them together. But I wanted her and Matt together, and it kind of worked either way, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, just a fun, enjoyable film. Really good music. Um, happy vibes. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> and we'll go, this has a 68% on track, which is wild. I think that's far too low. Uh, we'll go. Hmm. I'm debating like a 7.8 out of 10 or just giving it the 8. I'm going to give it the 8 because of the fact that it was released in 2004 and it did exactly what it needed to needed to do. Uh, and the characters were very likeable. I like the characters in this one. Very simple story, but uh, it hit the beats when it needed to. Judy Greer, I've heard that. She's the one who played Lucy. What's she been in? I don't know. I feel like I've seen her in something. Judy Greer. Judy Greer, where are you from? Where are you from? War for the Planet of the Apes. Could be that. So she acted with Andy Serkis again. That's pretty cool. She's in Ant-Man and Jurassic... Oh, Jurassic World. Maybe that's it. <coughs> but I think it might be the Planet of the Apes. I don't know. But yeah, well, I'll go 8 out of 10 for this one, guys. So there we go. That is the three films that, were, that won the top three of the last polls so we have i'm going to read out right now actually what won the poll because the poll's basically done it's been up for about three days so we'll read out the next three films that we're going to be reacting to so at number three oh no wait this was the older one because i just saw titanic with 140 votes i was like i, I didn't put titanic on the list uh what we got what we got what we got just give me a second okay here we go so, at number three, let me, give me a minute, I'm going to get these down. I've changed my mind, by the way, guys, I'm going to give this a 7.8 out of 10. Um, 
because I feel like I've given some eight out of eight out of tens in reactions to films I've preferred. I think it was a very very good film, uh, but I think an eight out of ten might be a little bit high. If I'm being completely honest, I know that's going to disappoint a few people. Oh, okay, I've not heard of this film. All right, we have the top three as well. Um, one of them I've never even actually heard of. I've heard of the other two, but uh, yeah, in the one in third place, I've not even. Oh wait. Oh, that's so close. I've just miscounted one. Oh my god. So the one in third place got 69 votes and the one in fourth got 68 votes. Jeez. I've heard of the one in third place then. I haven't heard of the one in... God, some people are going to be so disappointed because some people are hyping up the one in fourth place. But I'll put it back on the poll in the next one. Just make, Just put it in the films you want and then i assume it'll win okay so in fourth place with 68 votes so it's just missed out in the top three was a walk to remember that had 68 votes that's the film i've never even heard of so um and also oh no that one wasn't that close actually okay it doesn't matter so the one that was one vote more than it with 69 votes was Pride and Prejudice, <laughs> uh, which I have heard of. But yeah, like I say, just when we do the fo uh, films again, just put a walk to remember in there and we'll put it. Uh, I'm assuming that'll win unless something else sneaks in. Then at number two, we have the new Hunger Games. So the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes with 75 75 votes and then with 101 votes in first place we have how to lose a guy in 10 days which i have heard of i don't know anything about that film either i mean maybe the title kind of explains a little bit about what it is i'm going to i'm going to assume it's kind of in the realm of what we just watched and stuff so uh yeah i'm excited for those films a what to remember i've not even heard of i'm not going to search it up because i assume that will win be in the top three at some point uh so we'll, i'm sure we'll react to that at some point uh but yeah, there we go, guys. That is 13 going on 30. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the th uh, number three, Pride and Prejudice. We'll start off with that one, so that'll be in a couple of weeks or something like that, because I think the next one's going to be a Studio Ghibli film, and then we'll do Pride and Prejudice. So, yeah, until next time, take care. Peace.